This is 1244F. 1244F. And this lady has actually um, tore her wall out. And there was all kind of stuff in inside the inside the inside of the walls. What? What um, stuff? Um, you know, I can't quote what it was, but I'm sure there was the insulation, asbestos, all kind of stuff, the lead base paint that they use. Um, you know, she had to d go through that to get into the walls. Um, <laughs> she was looking for mice. She um, found mold. Yeah, she it was did all find like mold. black in there. Yeah. Um, hmm. So yeah, so um, you know, and she, and she's um, from. I don't, I don't believe that um, she is, she's not a resident of the United States. So she's... Um, so she's compromised a bit. Right. So do we take this out of this video right now? No, we're good. She's, she's already talked, you know, Catholic Charities has helped her um, with her immigration papers and all that kind of stuff. So, so this is known. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so... Um, so okay. this is my lovely unit that I lived in. Uh, we've we've gone from A to G, and every unit has had problems. People have had problems. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you lived and here, and mostly with breathing. Every single one of them. Mostly with breathing. Yeah. So that's mold. That's possibility asbestos. That could be all the dust blowing around here. Right. That there is a number. And it's a very windy on the street. Um. So in H, <laughs> it, we're not going to leave one out. <laughs> okay, but let me get a good shot of, of G, where you lived be first before we... Yeah, and I planted these trees. These little bushes that are in the front right here, I planted those when they were little, tiny. <laughs> yeah. They're cute. Did you put the rocker over here? No, no. That, that was already... I mean, that came after I left. After you left. Yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, we have a, a patriotic person here with a <laughs> Fourth of July thing bow on the door. Okay, yeah, but you know, I had to dig into the soil to plant the little trees. Mm hmm You did um, to get them, you know, on there. So at at, at that time, we we were told that the um, Rubicon does all the the mowing and stuff at the front. Now we could do our little plant things here in the backyards we were responsible for. The upkeeping, any, you know. Uh, Rubicon Villages is, 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 a, is John Stewart's um, subsidized housing. Yes. So Rubicon Villages was your, ser your service provider at the time, right? Yeah, I think, I think they were, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, you know, we, so we took care of the, the back the uh, backyards and then the little plant areas, garden areas. And and you didn't get into trouble for planting that, that stuff there? No. No? Mm -mm. That was all right with them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We are responsible for the backyard. The upkeeping of the backyard, the, the mowing, the lawn, the, all that sort of thing. Um, which I used to do when I was on Mariner also, where mm -hmm. the radiation thing was found. But this unit is where I lived. Um, back in 2007, early 2008, when uh, the Navy had dug, they they taped off a, a square unit in the back side, which I will show on video later. Um, and I was concerned because there was no notification. Um, nobody knew that this was going on. Um, nobody was informed that they were going to be doing this, not even the housing provider that I, that I live under um, was informed that this was going on. So I immediately, well, I leave my, my windows open, as you can see in my other unit, that where I've always left my windows open because it's, it creates ventilation and keeps mold from being in my house. Mm -hmm. uh, but I woke up in the morning to find um, these men in has, hazmat blue suits with Max on um, digging outside of my backyard by my bedroom window. At this address? At this address. Okay. I immediately called my housing provider. My housing case manager came. 
the housing director of the um, housing program came. A person from tie-dye came. A person from tie-dye came. And then showed up the official people, head honchos from the Navy, came. And as soon as they came, it was shut down. You could snap your fingers and you would never know they were there. Um, I never got an apology. No. The only thing that they did say was that um, the next time we'll, we'll, we will inform you. We'll tell you when we're coming. Yeah, the next time we'll, we'll let you know. Okay, will you show us now where that took place? Yes.